going on, all you wild John Boyega enthusiasts? Hey, bro. Your two favorite Attack the Block enthusiasts are back tonight. We're talking about his new film. It premiered on Netflix uh, recently. It also stars Jamie Foxx. We're talking about the brand new science fiction film, They Clone Tyrone. Excuse me, Kai, sir. But if you could pull me to the elevator that leads down to the Peaky Laboratory. I'll be out your atmosphere. Let's get my... And this is a movie I knew nothing about. You, you were telling me about this for quite some time, you know. So, yeah, it's playing on Netflix. John Boyega, sign me up. Every time he's in something, I'm going to watch. I love him as an actor. Uh, but this is from screenwriter Jewel Taylor making their feature directorial debut with They Clone Tyrone. And it's really kind of a sci-fi comedy. Very much a sci-fi comedy in the vein of uh, John Carpenter. I got a lot of They Live vibes from this. Stranger Things, kind of the mix and match of those. Some other films. Jordan Peele, I got that vibe with this too. Get out. Um, and yep. Yeah, it centers around John Boyega's character of Fontaine um, being a, a drug dealer, him ending up going over to Jamie Foxx's place, who's a pimp and all, has some drugs at his place, Slick Charles, and it also involves a hoe, played by Teona Paris. You remember her as Monica Rambeau, from, of course, from the Marvels and WandaVision. Those three are the main characters here. Well, after Fontaine goes over to, uh, you know, get some drugs and kind of hold up uh, Slick Charles, he ends up getting shot outside of the motel. And the next day, Slick Charles ends up seeing Fontaine and uh, he's he's alive and well. No gunshots, not dead. They figured he was dead, but he's alive and well. And that's when things they start noticing things around town there's a big government conspiracy going on apparently and a lot of weird things are happening around town they see some vehicles drive up they see somebody like looking like a zombie walking down the road they scoop them up well they end up going to investigate and it leads them down into this like underground lab and they find out that uh, the government are uh, cloning people and a lot of people that they knew are actually clones. Yeah, a lot of twists and turns along the way, but it definitely in the van of John Carpenter. I thought of like Halloween 3. They got yes. the guys in the Another, suits yep. and they're like, like walking exactly. down the streets with the music. Do, 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 do. Mm-hmm. Definitely had some Carpenter vibes and paying homage to a lot of other films. As you already said, you know, Get Out comes to mind as well. But mm-hmm. it really had that cool sci-fi feel to it. Not what I expected. I Like I said, I didn't watch any trailers and know anything about this. I thought it would be like, maybe an action movie or something, but totally not like that at all. Beginning kind of takes a look at race. Really the powerhouse performances in this are Jamie Foxx, John Boyega, Tiana Paris. You know, they're all really fantastic in this whole different characters and what they're coming across and obviously having to do with a clone of Tyrone. I'm not sure if it's really him or a clone. Yeah, I loved it. It's a mysterious film, very uh, science fiction. And, you know, you're wondering what's going to happen uh, all along. Fontaine, I, I love John Boyega's performance in this, man. This was great. This is the kind of character that he needs to play. He sells this tough guy, uh, you know, that's totally different from Finn and Star Wars. He just plays the tough kind of, uh, you know, basically drug dealer hood characters very well. Attack the block. It reminded me a lot of that. Yeah. It's like a grown up version of that. And then seeing Jamie Foxx as a pimp, something that we never seen him as. I, I really loved his performance as well as Teona Paris. They all work so well together. And let's not forget to mention a villain who's finally revealed towards the middle end of the film being Kiefer Sutherland as Nixon. He shows up and I was like, damn, I didn't had no idea Kiefer was going to be in this. Just made it all the better. Um, really, uh, the music, the score, everything was great. My only complaint is it, it dragged a little bit in the in the third act of the film. They could have cut probably a good 15 to 20 minutes made it a little better by that. But overall, man, I was, you know, pleasantly surprised with this film. Um, My expectations were, you know, it's a Netflix film. I'm not going to go overboard and expect greatness, but yeah, I really had a great time with this. And uh, yeah, I was really impressed with it being a a new, one of the new better science fiction films and especially impressive from a first time director, uh, Jewel Taylor, who also did some writing for, um, Creed, Transformers, uh, Rise of the Beast. He was also involved in that. So very impressed and had a great time. Gave me that Carpenter vibe, like you mentioned. Very cool. It also made me think of Black Mirror, especially the newer ones, you know, like something in a scenario like that. 
Mm -hmm. uh, just re really reminded me of that everything I love, you know, in sci-fi and horror all brought together in this. Yeah, really surprised by this, knew nothing about it. I had a great time with this. You know, like you said, a, a little long, but not terribly. You know, it's around the two hour mark. So cut off a little bit. I think it would have been a pretty damn perfect movie across the board and a movie I definitely rewatched. The only complaint for me is I should have watched it sooner and paid attention <laughs> when it was hitting that place. <laughs> right. But yeah, Boyega was really fantastic. Jamie Foxx is always, and then of course, Santa Paris is always great. So um, love to see them all working together, you know, in the future, maybe another like a drama film or something, action film. I think it'd be cool to see them together. And Boyega always playing the thug, does it right. And I can't wait to see him in Attack the Block, too. So definitely enjoy this movie. I'm going to give They Clone Tyrone, now streaming on Netflix. I'm going to give it a four out of five. John Boyega hair pieces. Bro. I'm going to agree with you. This is a definite four out of five. Jamie Foxx hair pieces. And shout out to Jamie. I saw the video. He's finally feeling better. You could tell, man, he got really sick. He didn't have, you know, he he looked like he had just got out of the hospital after a couple months. I'm glad to see him healthy, happy, and uh, he's, man, hell of a talent. Would have sucked to lose him. So happy that he's back and love the three of them together. Hope this cast gets back together and even maybe a sequel for this because they kind of, uh, you know, set it up at the end where not everything gets, uh, you know, resolved. So everybody should check this out on Netflix. It's an original movie. This would have been great in theaters, you know. They should have thrown this up in theaters. Uh, if, it, if marketed a little better, this would have got a lot more eyes, and it deserved to, in my opinion. Marketing was terrible. I heard nothing about this. So I checked, yeah. you know, yeah. We check the movie sites every day. Yeah. So. so I want to hear from all you sci-fi enthusiasts out there. What did you like about They Clone Tyrone? What didn't you like about it? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to click subscribe. Also check out these wild rascals on Facebook, X, and Instagram and our website, cinefels.com, for the latest, greatest. TV movie news and reviews. So thank you guys for watching our review of the Netflix original film, They Clone Tyrone. Until the next Cinefellas movie review, I'm Uncle Henry Boyega. And I'm Uncle Logan Fox signing out to the next movie review. Cheers!